So we are so excited to be here for Coding at the Capitol today. We're here to spotlight the need for computer science education for all students. We're honored that we have one of Springwoods High School's teachers and several of our computer science students here to participate and teach legislatures all about Hour of Code. I'm um, Daniel Angel, a teacher from Springwoods High School, Spring Branch ISD, and we've traveled from West Houston. These are my Yeah, we're from Springwoods High School. My name is Daniel Angel. I've been teaching there for five years. I brought four students with me uh, to the state capitol, and we are working with uh, two representatives um, from El Paso, uh, showing off some student projects today. And um, you know, the, the, everything from what we do at the beginning with block-based programming, there's a DNA molecule simulator uh, that one of the students got to show uh, the legislator. Uh, there's also um, a couple students from my second year course, Computer Science 2, and they got to show a uh, random dice simulator. So, you know, learning how to create objects and then using code to uh, generate random numbers and then turning that into an actual visual image that pops up on the screen and then, you know, using um, these things called loops, which allows them to create now hundreds of them, thousands of them. So, uh, they got to display that project, which is something that they worked on this year. Uh, and then I have one of my seniors who is in an independent study course and she got to show off a game that she made using Java uh, in Unity, which is something that she you know, did entirely uh, by herself. Uh, and she's also currently you know, building her skills in web design, learning HTML, CSS, so she can show off all of her projects uh, to everybody. Hi, my name is Sabina Garibovich and I'm a senior from Springwoods High School. I, as far as this whole experience is concerned, my favorite thing about being here was seeing all of the skills present from all these students across Texas. And knowing that our little team was invited from every other school is a really honorable experience. So what I presented here was a personal website that I built. It was part of a project that I was doing to learn how to build websites or learn HTML coding. It took me a few weeks to do actually as I learned the basics of HTML. It was a lot of self-taught but I am really happy with what I've been able to accomplish so far. I think the, um, one of the reasons why I wanted to come out to this event is uh, I wanted to allow the students to see that there is interest uh, at the state level, uh, even at the federal level, in you know, increasing the amount of money that goes into computer science education because of how important it is. Um, one of the things that I really hope in the future we can see is that more students uh, get exposed to computer science at the middle school and even the elementary level so that by the time they get to uh, be in high school they will have limitless opportunities as to what they can create with uh, technology given the knowledge that they already have coming in. Sure, my name is Dwayne Bohack and I'm a state rep for West Houston primarily which includes Spring Branch ISD, Katy ISD and Cypher ISD and we're so happy to have Spring Branch ISD here today on the Texas House floor for uh, a coding event that we're having. Well, what did, I, what did I think? I thought, oh my gosh, how much smarter they are than I am. That was the first thing on my mind. And then I you know, had an opportunity to talk to the computer science teacher, who's also the coach there, and uh, learn what their, uh, the problem they were trying to solve today with their coding. I think we need a, com a computer science advocate in every school. Uh, that's where I would begin, a computer science advocate who's on fire and who's passionate about computer science because the future of jobs involves some level of computer science and all the high paying jobs in the state of Texas uh, do involve uh, computer science. So these kids can graduate from college uh, that with a strong computer science, computer engineering degree and get out and make six digits and that is a tremendous income earning potential. Computational thinking and computer science skills can be woven throughout the curriculum pre-K-12 and we're working hard in Spring Branch to make that happen.